Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Maker Monday. And today I'm playing and trying an experiment. I saw somebody do this and I will put the link down below. And I thought, I have to try this. So what you're going to need, if you want to craft along with me today, are some tiny scraps. These are little pieces. I have this entire little bin of all these scraps. It doesn't even look like I took any out, but I took these out to use to start with. So you want little scraps today. You're going to need some packing tape. You're going to want something to cover your mat. Uh, or if you don't, you you may be okay doing this, you know, if you want a Mod Podge right over your mat. I have to put something down over the top of mine because I only have the one mat. So um, I have some, this is a cereal liner. I have my brush, my Mod Podge. This is glossy. I prefer the mat. I didn't buy the right one the last time. That's okay. We're going to go with glossy today in a bit. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do... To use up these scraps, I'm going to pull out a length of, sorry, it's going to probably make noises. I'm going to go with a piece that's about, oh, I don't know, that long. I'll put it up here where you can see it. I'm not going to cut it from here. I am, okay, you're going to roll on me? That's fine. We'll figure you out in a minute. I'm turning it so that it stays put here, and I have sticky side up. Okay, let me put you here, and then I'm going to put my timer. No, that doesn't fit. What can I put inside you that will hold you still? How about just my scissors? There we go. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it on the clearness now, but I have a piece of tape here. And now what I'm going to start doing is taking pieces and I'm just going to start putting them on my piece here and I'm going to kind of angle them what the heck we'll just put them in here I've got a little extra piece there don't want it and all I'm going to do is layer pieces in here um and it's okay if they overlap. In fact, you want them to do some overlapping. A little tiny piece here. I have no idea why I would keep such little tiny pieces, but I'm glad I did. Because you never know where you might use them. Okay, what I'm finding as I'm doing this is that I am sticking to myself. Okay, I have a bunch that are odd shaped. I like the odd shapes. And don't worry about going over the top and the bottom. We're going to cut all of that off later. So right now you're just finding pieces. Um, I have a bunch here that are squares or rectangles. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to fill this whole thing up with these pieces. This is a little bit of, um, I think that was homemade paper. Let's put that there. And I, I did not pick anything in particular for its shape or its color. Well, maybe it's color a little bit, but not a lot. And we're just filling places in here. I'm going to put that one right down there. And like I said, don't worry if you overlap. Overlapping is fine. So I saw this idea and I thought that this was really cool and decided that I wanted to see how I could do if I could do it, first of all. Um, now this one, I'm going to do something just a little bit different with this one because this one's got a really bright edge. So I'm just taking, I have a little bit of, this is my vintage photo piece. 
So I'm just kind of bringing that down a little bit. And I don't want that piece. I want that one. And we have a little bit of straight edge here. Oh, that's, that's just like the other one. So let's put you further down. You never know what you might find in your scrap bin. When you start going through it, you go, oh yeah, I remember that project. And I remember this project. Oh yeah, we did this. Very cool stuff that you find when you didn't, you're not really looking for anything in particular. You're just finding stuff. Now, could I do this as stripes? Absolutely. Um, ah, I'm not particularly going to do that, but I absolutely could. Because I just want to use up a bunch of these pattern pieces. from all this stuff that I've had in the past. Oh, you know what, I think I'll stick you here. You can see that I, I do have some holes in here and that's okay. I'll just stick, you know, something in between. And don't worry about it if it's sticking up. You're gonna see in a bit how we're gonna handle that. So don't worry about that piece. Okay, what else do I have here? I You can see mine are kind of eclectic in color. Let's do something different here. And we'll put you here. Oh, that's a cool piece. That was a piece from a stamped something somewhere along the line. I have this cool piece, which was left over from a doodle that I did. And this is from some, uh, what is this? What do you call this? This is uh, jelly printing. And the, I'm, I am not being careful about weights or anything of that sort. Some of these are heavier cardstock. Some of them are... Um, lighter papers. I like some going this way, not all of them going this way. I like the fact that I have some triangles that are cut off of, you know, hit pieces hither and yon. Oops, can't come through that way. Okay, I need a little piece up here. Okay, I could use a piece here because I didn't quite come up to the top. Now I do have this kind of sort of set on my mat where I have, so I can see where the top and the bottom is and it's about two inches. So I am following a two inch piece here so I can see when I've got the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna stick you here. And we'll take the rest of you and put you over here. I'm getting close to the end of my playing. Let's put you here. Like that. And I don't need all of that. So let me just take a piece of that. And we'll put you here. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I'm going to turn under my edge so I can find the start of my tape again. And I'm going to put my roll of tape away for a minute. I'm also going to come down to this end and I'm going to cut it there, so now I have a strip. I'm throw that away, don't need that piece. 
I have a strip and I'm looking to see if there's any spot that I have really missed drastically. And I do have a little piece over here. Let me take just a little bit of that. So I'll put that right there. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over take all those I didn't use any of the those are ones I didn't use I'm just take them over there and I'm just going to take a minute here and trim it down so I'm trimming off all the pieces that stick out over the top so that I have a finished edge and I will measure it in a minute because I don't know what I actually ended up with I'm going to take that piece and stick it right there because I have a spot that I missed. There we go. Okay, these are all going to go away. don't need to keep them. Let's do the other side. Okay, we're going to come to the edge. Oh, look, that had a design on the other side. Oh, well. I did better at lining it up on this edge than I did on the other edge. Okay, got another spot here. So I'm going to grab a piece of something here. Just to fill in those holes so that all the tape is covered. There. Get all that off to the side. We don't, aren't going to need that. So now I have a strip. But I've got all these pieces sticking up all over the place. Now, the Mod Podge. I put this down to protect my table. And I'm going to use the Mod Podge undiluted. Okay, I'm going to pause my video for a minute and go open my Mod Podge. Okay, I am back and I have made, obviously, a huge mess of things here. Uh, so just as a word to the wise, my top was on crooked and was not sealed. So I've lost quite a bit of Mod Podge. I mean, not, not a tremendous amount, but I did lose a bunch of, of the gloopy stuff and I will be cleaning that up later. All right, back to the project at hand. Let me move that out of my, I got some, now you see why I put a thing down here. I've got it all over everything here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is go through and just give it a good coating on the top side only of straight up undiluted Mod Podge. This isn't fancy. And I am making sure I seal down all of those, excuse me, all of those edges. And I'm going through and just covering the whole tape of it. As I said, I this was something I watched on YouTube. You know, I, I see my YouTube time as research, besides which just, you know, I just enjoy them. It's certainly research I enjoy doing. Too many people think of research as being something. I've always loved to do research. And they think of it as, oh, this is the hard part. And to me, that's the fun part. I don't know if I'm even on camera at this point, but I don't want to pick it up again. I want to just want to kind of fill it up. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and I will be back in a little bit. Okay, it is dry, I, it is trimmed, and I have now a strip that I can use for pretty much anything. It'll make a nice belly band. It'll do all sorts of things. What I did, um, and we did it, we made it out of tiny little scraps and a little bit of packing tape and some Mod Podge. That was it. Three things. Packing tape tiny strips and or tiny pieces and packing tape. So what I did was I have this uh, bin of 
things that you have seen me make. These are just like leftover pieces from other their um, pages for signatures. And I'm going to take this very bright one. This was something I was playing with at one point with uh, embossing. And I looked at this and I thought, that's going to make a great belly band. But what I'm going to do is bring it all the way around because I have so much of it. And it'll be a double belly band on both sides. So in order to make that happen, I'm going to very quickly use just a little. Now, and what's nice is this has got a nice smooth surface on the other side. I can add a little bit of my Fabri-Tac here. I should have something underneath me here. Hang on real quick. And you can see that I have a line there. I'm, cro I'm covering up my line. Okay, getting that nice and even. And because I want it to be a belly band, I probably should cut this in two, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac here and here. It is moving on me. There we go. So that smooshes it down and attaches it to the center. My, I, It's just a little bit tacky. My Mod Podge, Mod Podge isn't entirely dry. Um, and that's, that's on me. I didn't completely do it. Now what I am going to do before I put this down is I am going to cut it. I could do it the other way, but I think for me it's going to be a little bit easier just to cut it. And put a little bit on here. Like I said, this is my first time really trying to use this. So I wasn't sure how it was going to work. Yeah, I got a little tacky stuff still here. So there we go. I now have a belly band on a very bright piece of orange paper. And I'm not going to worry so much about the fact that I've got a little piece hanging over here. Because once this goes into a signature, let me grab a partial signature here. What do I have? I don't even know what this piece was. This was a, a signature I started at one point. Never did anything with. But see, once that goes into a signature, you're not going to see it anyway. Uh-oh, I glued them together. All right, we're going to let that dry. And that's an extra piece that I can put on something else. I had this piece out before maybe to use it over the top of that because I don't particularly like that pattern. But I don't know. We'll just hang on to it and we'll find a use for it for something somewhere along the line. All right, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, click like to let YouTube know that you like them, and click the bell to get a notification when the next video comes out. Hint, there might be one coming out on Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. So, uh, because I don't know, you aren't going to know, and you'll know when I post it because you'll have the notification. So click that bell. All right, this is Cindy signing off.